is a short video guide to identification of Sequoia sempervirens. Sequoia sempervirens has rather stringy, fibrous, um, light brown bark, relatively felty when you go quite close up to touch it. And uh, this peels off in long vertical strips. It is relatively soft to the touch. The male pollen cones appear at tip ends in early spring uh, and a slightly swollen, uh, pale cream in colour with a, a considerable constriction before the uh, pollen sacs emerge from the end on a slight stalk. And here one can see a close up of the pollen sacs emerging at the end uh, of the, uh, uh, the flower bud and here relatively fresh, pale cream in colour just about to issue out their pollen. The female flowers are very discreet, very small, slightly reddened structures at the end of some tip ends. If you look very closely you can see the slight triangular shape that will form the cone scales. really are quite delicate and small. And the woody cone develops through green to brown in one year, uh, ending up the size of a mid-sized marble in shape. And you can see this one has dried and the cone scales have broken apart. Um, and it's a relatively small open structure in which the seeds are set. A young tree looks somewhat like a yew tree, relatively round, a pyramidal shape, with lots of level branches, rather dense, slightly dark green foliage. But an early mature specimen, like this one that can be seen in Cambridge Botanic Gardens, um, is uh, significantly ascending in height, reaching heights of well over 30 metres easily uh, and continuing to grow with lots of cas cascaded slightly erratic branches uh, coming from it. Um, sometimes the appearance of the foliage changes because of exposure, sometimes it can be a healthy grey green, sometimes like this one here that ends up going a little bit uh, bronzed from the exposure to the cold. And here the flat ranked uh, foliage can be seen pale grey green in colour, rather yew like um, but a bit too regular really and not quite as dark green as, as yew trees. A noticeable feature of the needles is that they have two very prominent pale bands on their underneath but if you look closely on the upper surface there's also uh, two pale bands on the needle which is quite a useful identifying feature. And here then is a close-up of those pale bands on the underside of the needles and you can see they're made up of lots and lots of very pale stomata, so um, gaseous exchange points for, for those needles. Here this close-up focuses on the pulvinus, on this swelling attachment as the needle meets the twig and you can see it pretty much stays at the same width and all you have is a vegetative turn, if you like, of the strip from needle to covering the shoot. This species does form temporary uh, winter buds and they're slightly rounded and protected by uh, triangular scale-like needles.